The Fallout series of role-playing games are set in a post-apocalyptic, retro-feeling, alternate future. Picture what the year 2287 might look like if you imagined it from 1947 and a nuclear war broke out in 2077. Fallout is brutal, it is tongue-in-cheek, it is smart, sharp, oddly beautiful, and a whole load of fun to play. Despite all the negative Nancys, I can't wait for Fallout 76 to come out. In the meantime, we're looking at what the guns of the Fallout universe look like in the real world. Next up is the Gauss rifle. I didn't stutter. TFB managed to get hold of a real world no shit Gauss rifle and I got a chance to shoot it. But first, let's talk about the Gauss rifle in the game. A Gauss gun, or linear accelerator, is a device that hurls a metal slug using electromagnets. In the Fallout world, the Gauss rifle is an absolute badass. It is more powerful than a 50 caliber rifle. The firing rate is relatively slow, but it holds 20 rounds and you can hold the trigger to charge it for greater damage. With the right mods and perks, you can easily defeat some of the most powerful enemies in the game with just a couple of shots. As fun as the Gauss Rifle is in Fallout, you know that the real world version is bound to be a little different than the fictional gun. To find out how real world Gauss Rifles work, I met up with a real life mad scientist, Jason Murray from Arc Flash Labs. So tell me a little bit about how a Gauss Rifle works. So the way this works is it uses a series of electromagnets to pull the projectile down the barrel. So there's no uh, explosive charge, there is no expanding gas, there's no spring. It's just uh, electrical power stored up in a bank of capacitors here that is discharged into a series of coils that sucks the projectile down the barrel and out towards the target. The magazine inserts through the handle here and the first coil is right up against the magazine and there are a series of eight coils which run from here all the way down the barrel of the gun. Okay, so you pass an electric current through the coil, it turns into an electromagnet, it sucks the projectile towards it. Yes. And the momentum carries it down the barrel a little bit further till it reaches the next coil, yep. which pulls it again and again and again yep. until it goes faster. Each How does it know when to fire each coil? So this is timed with optical gates. So every coil at the entrance to the coil, there's an infrared beam and infrared detector on the other side. When the projectile enters the coil, it blocks that path. And as soon as it, the sensor is not seeing infrared light, that triggers the EM pulse. So you've seen the pictures of the coil gun or Gauss ruffle in Fallout, right? Yes. How close is that to a real world Gauss rifle? It's really not far off in terms of appearance. In fact, it's something that we took some inspiration from in terms of the uh, creative aspect of, uh, of the appearance of this gun. Uh -huh. um, it doesn't look exactly like it, but we did draw inspiration from it. The only thing that's kind of far from reality is the performance of it. Yeah. I think we're a few years off from getting that kind of performance, although we're working towards it. Well, to be fair, that's almost 100 years in our alternate future anyway. Right. So I think the the war in Fallout took place in 2077, and presumably technology stopped advancing a lot after the thermonuclear war, but we can say that still, 2077, we should see something a little bit better than we have right now. I think it's really possible. The things that I expect to change in that time is uh, the power supply will get smaller. Obviously, the capacitors here and the battery in the front take up a lot of room in this gun, so we could either make those smaller or leave them the same size and get a whole lot more power. In the meantime, your your next model of this, you're going to be selling the next model to, to the public, right? We're planning to, yes. Awesome. What, what sort of, I understand that it's still in development, but what sort mm -hmm. of performance are you expecting to see out of that? So the performance we're expecting to see out of that is 100 joules of kinetic energy. For comparison, this one... Hang on. Um, so I'm going to convert all the numbers that he gives me and put them up on the screen here in moon landing units. But go, <laughs> go ahead. There's two kinds of countries, right? Those that uh, use the metric exactly. system and those that have been to the moon. Um, 100 joules on our next gun. This one's five. So uh, That's 20 times difference. improvement. I expect we'll do a lot more damage to uh, the gel block with that. Is, is that the same projectiles? It, there are going to be much larger projectiles, actually. So okay. uh, velocity-wise, we're this gun, we're shooting about 140 feet per second on our fastest shot. The next gun will be above 260 feet per second. So a substantial improvement in muzzle velocity. Still not to rifle levels, but enough yeah. to do more serious damage. Well, even at this projectile weight, 260 feet per second is, is enough to, um, to kill small critters. Certainly. Like, like I said earlier, I think that that production version should be really close to a small game or pest control 
usefulness and obviously just a lot of fun to shoot things absolutely in the house with um, a rechargeable gun with reusable projectiles yep uh, you guys are working on a rail gun too right we are yes tell me about the rail gun how, what is what's the difference how does a rail gun work so they're both similar in principle that they use an electromagnetic pulse to accelerate the projectile the coil gun uses a series of coils whereas the rail gun uses two parallel rails and the current passes from one rail through the projectile down the other and that creates the magnetic force. So rail guns are suited to higher velocities uh, with smaller projectiles which is obviously more ideal for a firearm. Uh, some of the challenges with the rail guns are the rails tend to erode because of the high currents and the sliding contact. And it's arcing across. And the arcing. So um, because there's a ton of potential for that technology as well, we're doing a lot of R&D on rail guns and we actually have two of the world's only portable rail guns that we've designed and tested. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little shooting. Um, I shot a gel block and a watermelon with it and um, well if I didn't shoot the gel block I know that you guys would be mad but as you'll see in the video these aren't quite ready for laser death blast killing people dead yet but they are really fun. If you look very closely at the front of the gel block and hopefully you could see on the high speed you can see that it did poke into the gel block a bit. It went through the watermelon on like the last shot there, but for the most part it just popped through the outer outer shell of it. Again, these aren't <laughs> these aren't supposed to be home defense guns. They are for the time being, they are wicked awesome sci-fi come alive. And you guys are working on a more powerful version that's probably pretty suitable for small game hunting and uh, pest control, right? Yes. Another detail I wanted to mention is the battery. It's a completely standard lithium polymer battery, the same kind of battery that uh, powers RC cars, RC planes. So there's, uh, there's really no new tech involved. It's just a new application of existing components. To some extent, you could say that of all technology, though, right? I mean, yeah. from... From the first uh, flint napping to a thermonuclear weapon, each iteration is just new application of existing technology, right? Yeah, so this, this is a new application of existing technology. So you're, you're being somewhat modest in saying that there's nothing new about it, but this is really groundbreaking, because what other... I'm sorry, it's nowhere near as good as that other commercially available <laughs> coil gun, right? That's right. We're, we're the first uh, company in history, as, as far as we're aware, to offer an electromagnetic gun for sale to the public. This is really cool. And I'm, as you guys are well aware, I'm a huge sci-fi nerd. And this um, is almost literally a dream come true in the sense that it's sci-fi now, today. I didn't get my flying cars or my jet pack, but I did get a coil gun, and that's awesome. Yes, and that's what inspires us, to do something first and make sci-fi become reality. Awesome. It was a lot of fun shooting it. It was great meeting, meeting you guys and playing with these cool toys. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll make sure that all of your contact information and everything is in the description. Head on over to their website, check out what they have. Stay tuned, because there will be a production version coming that's a lot more powerful and you can take one home and buy it. Yep. If you have the time, head on over to our sponsor's website, Ventura Munitions, see what they have in stock, come back over here and tell me what you want to see us test in the gel tests. Have a great day.